Well, of course, language is the great fabric of communication in the play. It's what Shakespeare loved more than anything. And in Viola, he's given her these beautiful lines and made her an extraordinary poet. The most honourable lady of the house. Which is she? Um, speak to me. I shall answer for her. Your will? Most radiant, exquisite, unmatchable. And it's through language that people become seduced. It's through language that people fall in love. I think for him, language was the primary tool of seduction and of life. Remember who commended thy yellow stockings and wished to see thee ever cross guarded I say, remember, go to thou art made, if thou desirest to be so. If not, let me see thee a steward, still the fellow of servants, and not worthy to touch fortune's fingers. <laughs> And of course, the letter is no different from an email or a text. It's just simply a non-digitalized way of communicating. And the same way we get very anxious about an email or a text, these characters get anxious about a letter. They carry a lot of importance. <laughs> This ring to you, sir. You might have saved me my pains. <laughs> Giving me the ring is like a coded message. It's about Malvolia. It doesn't know that I didn't leave the ring. Viola very quickly cottons on to the, the code and says, you know, oh no, she took the ring from me. I, I won't have it back. It'd be to report your lord's taking of this. Receive it so. She took the ring of me. I'll none of it and so keeps that under wraps. But when she's left alone, she's like, oh, but I didn't leave a ring with her. And she works out, oh, she loves me. And the ring obviously being a symbol of marriage and things like that, relationships. Well, the ring is a useful um, contrivance. Uh, the idea this ring has been sent by Orsino to Olivia and needs to be returned. Everyone's trying to write their own stories, trying to write their own destinies. And at the same time, just what they think is happening, the opposite is. So Shakespeare finds it very funny that as human beings, we're trying to write our own stories, we're trying to control our own lives, but there's always a force, there's always a writer in the sky that knows the ending that we don't. <laughs> <laughs>